confession time. I was not planning on coming home and filming this video today because I only went into Sephora for one item and I came home with a lot. So I figured I might as well just sit and film a haul video for you guys since I haven't done a beauty haul in such a long time. Like what? What is wrong with me, Kayla? What is wrong? But first, I must show you guys something that I got from Target and I was eyeing this particular pair of shoes for about a month now and I just could not see it in myself to purchase them until today. So I'm really excited for these. I can't wait to wear them. I think I'm going to put them on tomorrow because I just, I can't wait. So these pair of shoes are from Sam and Libby and I have a couple of pair of shoes from this brand and I really love the line at Target. I think they're super edgy pieces that look more expensive than what they really are. And knowing me, of course, I had to go and get a pair of black ankle booties and these are absolutely a perfection. And what I love most about these is the buckles on the side. How dope is that? It's a very edgy way to spice up any look I feel. Plus the hardware is nickel so it matches my Alexander Wang absolutely perfectly. So I now have a pair of boots that go with my purse. And these are I believe $44 from Target. I got them a half size bigger because they're a little bit tight on me. Plus I like to wear thicker socks with shoes like this. So I went with a size 9 and I'm obsessed. They do have a little baby heel on them which is great. It adds a nice bit of support and a little bit of height. Can't hurt as well so I'm super excited to wear these and style them and just rock them. I feel like they're gonna be my new everyday boots for sure. Now I move on to Sephora. So the first thing which is no surprise is the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay and to be completely honest I am probably gonna go return this tomorrow. I only got it on impulse just because this was the last one they had on stock or on display and I couldn't decide then and there if I wanted it or not because obviously I have the first one, the second one. I just have so many new try shadows but this palette is more of a rose gold tint and I was thinking about it in the car on my way home and I was like Kayla you don't really ever wear like pink or rose gold toned shadows in the first place so why do you need the palette so I honestly don't need it so I'm gonna take it back I just wanted to share that with you that I thought about keeping it I did but I don't I was going through too much pressure in the store like should I get the palette should I not get it I don't freaking know but I finally decided that I, I'm not gonna use it enough to justify having it the reason why I went to Sephora in the first place was for the foundation that I wear and this is the NARS Sheer Glow and this is the best foundation by far. I recently ran out of this in the shade and I am in Stromboli which is medium 3 and the coverage of this is awesome. It's definitely buildable and I love the packaging of this so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in case you guys have never seen it which I think you guys all know what it looks like but here it is. My favorite foundation and it just looks really natural on the skin so I've been loving this and I had to get a replacement. Something else from NARS which I was really excited to try out because I heard a lot of beauty gurus talking about this and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the shade I got this in was Medium 2 Ginger. So this just comes in like a doe foot applicator type of packaging, which will be great for applying on the go. Mainly got this as a makeup bag touch-up style concealer and then an under eye concealer as well. I also got something from Benefit, which was their instant brow pencil in the shade medium. And I was running out of a lot of my stuff and that's why I needed to go to Sephora to replace them. And I'm also planning on doing an updated eyebrow tutorial because you guys see my Instagram pictures and you're like, do a brow tutorial, your brows are on point. <clears throat> Excuse me. And my brows are pretty thick. I like them to be bold and dark. So that's just my own thing. But I do use this instant brow pencil from Benefit in the shade medium, which you guys will see in the tutorial. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and it is amazing. It really keeps your brows down and in place, especially if your brows are a lot longer. So I find that this is the best by far clear brow gel that I've ever used, and I ran out of mine months ago. So it's time for me to repurchase this. And I think this is only my second tube ever, so it definitely lasts a long time. Also had to get another replacement which was my favorite mascara and this is the Dior Show New Look Mascara in black because I like dark lashes and this mascara I have raved about so many times. I've put in favorites videos, I use them in my tutorials or get ready with me videos and it just looks like this. Very cute packaging, super sleek, and the wand itself is very small and tiny. I don't want to open this because I have a little bit left in the tube I'm using now, but it's a very nice small brush where you can easily get in your inner corner lashes, your lower lash line, and really just work it in. Work it, girl. Work it. Because it's the holiday season, they're coming out with like all these really cool little gift sets, and um, I just gifted this to myself. Okay, there's no shame here. There's no shame. But this is the Soap and Glory Body Butter Set, and because I've only used one of them before, and I really 
really loved it. I wanted to try this because it was like $15 for three different ones and they all smell simply amazing. Plus I was running low on lotion and we all know that I get super ashy. So this was a necessary purchase in my eyes. The Righteous Butter, which I can't remember. Oh no, the Sugar Crush one smelled really sweet like candy. Ooh. There's also the Sugar Crush Body Butter, which smells like straight up candy. And it also came with Butter Yourself, which just sounds decadent. Another Soap and Glory product I got was just a body wash because we have to smell good, duh. And I was running low on my Lush one that I had, which is now in a bag for the products that I've used up, which you guys will see shortly, I'm sure. And this is called Clean Girls Skin Softening Cream Body Wash. And it just comes in like a little pump, which I love the packaging of this for in the shower because it's really easy just to pump it on my loofah and wash, 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 and I'm good to go. Plus, you get a ton of product. I believe this is a 16.2 ounce bottle, so it does last a long time, which is really great. And it gets really foamy. And then the last two things I got were just eyelashes. I am trying to dabble into trying like different eyelashes and stuff, and I saw a ton, but I didn't want to buy a bunch because I'm still very new to it. And I just went with the Sephora brand, which this pack was $10, and it came with one, two, three, four, five, six different lashes, and I really only want to use them on the outer corners. And then of course I had to get some lash glue, so I went with the Duo Adhesive in the original packaging. I didn't get the black one or anything like that. And these are already kind of halved, so I'm really excited about it. It did come with glue, but I just figured the glue was probably pretty crappy, so I bought the lash glue with it. So that's it, guys. That is my haul video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this spontaneous beauty haul. Let's just say I'm not going back to Sephora for a while because it suckers me in, guys. It suckers me in so hard, it's not even funny. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I have really long thumbs. That's not normal. What? All right. This is where I say goodbye and I say I love you because I do. I love you guys. Bye. So that's about it for my eyebrow routine. Why I think it's very important to fill in your brows is because it is almost the center of your face. So you frame your face so nicely, especially if they're done right and they're very bold and intense. I just have to love my brows as I mentioned.